all right then so now what we are going to do is we are going to bring the attachments over here which is going to looks like something like this which is having these functionalities to delete the files and everything so in order to do that what we have to do is um, let's try this way so basically if you wish to uh, add the attachments in this way we can do it in, we can do it in a two different way one we can keep it as an object as a an embedded object in the job of this job schema itself or we can create a separate company data something like this and we can map it over here since it is just an attachment we can keep it as an embedded object itself because uh, prisma provides you uh, a data type called json where we can keep the array of objects in it okay so in order to do that what i'm going to do is first we need to update the schema so right after here what i'm going to do is attachments attachments which is going to be the json data type so save these changes so whenever you're making some changes in your schema all you have to do is to push the changes to the mongodb npx prisma generate so generate on the client side perfect then npx prisma db push the changes to the mongodb so this changes will be pushed to your mongodb all right so now the database has been updated and successfully so let's get back over here and in this case now what i'm going to do is in the job id i'm going to have this image form and i'm going to duplicate this form over here and i'm going to rename that form go as attachments hyphen form then let me get back over here and change all these things image form into attachments form not attach g yes remove the e right something like this so save this changes and let's get back to the page.tsx over here and over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring that attachment form just like this copy this and paste it here and change this name to attachment form that import it properly and save these changes you should be able to see the image exactly the same thing over here so don't worry about that we can change all those things now inside here now what i need to do is so basically what we have to keep is um this form schema it's is the most important thing because we are trying to update this what this particular attachments right so copy this so let's get back over here attachments and this it should it is going to be so wherever the term uh, image url it's been used we need to change everything into attachments so okay so this is not a string it is a json data type so i'm gonna delete this okay I'm going to delete this and I'm going to change this into an object z dot object open it which is going to have which is going to have the URL and which is going to be a string z dot string string right then along with this I'm going to have the name and that is also going to be a string z dot string open it and this is going to be what it's going to be an array so we need to keep it as an array so dot array something like this still we are getting the error over here which is saying that see json array is not assignable to the type something like this so what we can do is if it is nothing is there we can simply pass it as an empty array mm. So we are getting this type. This is, this is just a type error. So what we can do is we can open the chat GPT and let's copy this schema. Copy this schema, paste it over here and let's get our form schema as well as and let's supply our form value over here and let's apply the issue getting this error while assigning some default values to that field let's see what we got from that response Okay, so chat GPT is going to analyze the schema and the form method, how we are trying to do it. And that is going to give us some changes. So let's check it out. 
okay so attachments this is how we want it to be fine so um okay so we are checking whether it is an array or not if it is an array then we are setting it to here okay so what we can do is we can simply delete it and here i need to check it as an array array dot is array is array open it initial data dot attachments if it says so then i need to set the initial data dot attachments or else i need to set an empty array so now hmm, still we are getting an error, error why we are getting this error Mm, 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 mm. why 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 see mm. or we can simply keep it as null okay so we are facing some issue so let me fix this so the reason why we are getting this issue is because there is a possibility for each this url and the name it can be a null okay that's the issue over here see on a json array which is not assignable to the type name as a string or undefined which means each property inside that array that url and the name there is a possibility that it can be a null so since when i searched that particular error over here chat gpt gave me some suggestions which is trying to map the each and every field if the type of the attachment of this object is if it is object or if it is equal to null or if it is see whether if it is an object or if it is an equal to null so what we are doing we are returning that value or else we are simply returning it as an empty string so what you have to do is simply copy this you can copy this code from the, the gist okay so i'm gonna paste it straight away over here so here what we are trying to do is we are trying to check whether the attachment is an array or not if it is an attachment what we are going to do we are trying to map each and every attachment field so in that attachment we have two different properties what is that one is url and another one is the name so if of the if the type of attachment is is equal to object we need to check whether it is an object or not of course it is going to be an object if it is an object then what i need to do i need to make sure that attachment should not be equals to null okay which in case if it is not equals to null then it's going to have two different property which is going to be url and the name we need to make sure whether the url is in the attachment and name is in the attachment these are the four different conditions that we need to check what is the first condition first you need to check what is the type of that attachment which is coming inside from that array it should be an object if it is an object we need to make sure it should not be an empty okay so then if it is not empty it should have two different properties in it one is the url and another one is the name so that is what we are checking if all these conditions are true we are simply returning the values as the uh, attachment values itself last as which is matching this particular schema type url and the name if it is not if none of if any of one of this condition is false we are simply returning the this object which is an empty string okay then i'm gonna assign that over here which is going to be the initial attachments now you should not get any type error over there right perfectly fine then we are not going to change anything else over here this is going to be job attachments attachments and we can change this later part and this displaying part we can so far we can keep it empty something like this and the form field okay so now over here we will face the issue because this image upload is the component which is going to have uh what is that if you check the image upload this image upload is a component which is getting the type as the string so this this is a component which helps you to upload a single image where you will get the image string alone but which is not matching the type of our object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this entire stuff so in, we can make some customizations over here but i don't want to touch this and i don't want to complex you a lot because already this attachment forms it's getting complex so i don't want to make it much more complex so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a ui component i'm going to duplicate this image upload where it is yep image upload copy and paste it oops i'm gonna copy this image upload and paste it 
then I'm going to say uh, attachments uploads something like this attachments uploads inside this I'm going to change this to duplicate all these image uploads into attachments uploads something like this okay and let me bring that over here and let me say attachments uploads perfect now inside this attachments uploads let's check it out over here because we need to make sure very carefully of course it is going to have this particular field and the value of course this value is going to be um the what we need to do we need to keep the value as um string so we need to keep the value as string okay so now mm -mm -mm. wait a minute so that is not supposed to be a string one so this attachment uploads this is not going to be a string one this is going to be an object which is going to carry out um, a URL in it which is going to be a type of string then it's going to carry out a name and that is also going to be a type of string and which is going to be an, an array of objects okay the value which is going to be here is an array of objects okay and inside this on change in this on change now um we are going to get the exact same object over here so copy this and i'm going to paste it over here something like this this is how the value which is going to be okay and on remove i'm just going to send the whenever i'm trying to remove i'm just going to remove that particular um url only okay so i can simply send the url alone so that will be removed from that okay so that's what we are trying to do now okay so um, let's check it out okay so if there is any changes we will change it later okay because what the problem is because when i'm developing this project we used the upload thing but right now we are facing issue because on the production upload thing is not working as we expected but on localhost it's working fine so i'm trying to recreate this entire component matching the firebase so that's the reason we are facing lots of issue right now so hopefully this will work let's see so perfect fine all these things okay so now what we have to do is um so we are getting the issue over here what kind of issue it is okay these are just the type error so let's change this Let's keep the on delete so far as an empty one. And here we need to make some changes. Okay. So because because uh, the value what we are trying to display over here, which is going to be an uh, object right now. So what I need to do is if we have the value and the value dot length, if it is greater than zero, of course, what we need to do now, now we need to do the mapping. So I'm just going to simply keep this part so far empty and over here this is not going to be um, height let's keep it as 20 and this part not image plus this is going to be file plus icon upload a file upload a file and instead of flex column let's keep it as flex itself okay so let's check it out and this input file should ready to upload type of file and we need to make sure upload it should ready to accept so here what we can do change the accept to accept the documents images so it, it should ready to accept both the documents and the images like it can be any any file see something like this okay so we can simply pause any kind of images over here so i'm just going to copy this 
and I'm going to supply it over here okay so here mm, oh my god this is getting quite a lot and lots of confusing so wait a minute so let's clean it clean it up instead of copying and pasting that is making it more a tedious process let let's type it by ourselves all right so i just deleted it i'm then i'm just going to keep this also empty so so far we are not getting any issues okay so delete it so literally we deleted everything there is nothing over here so let me refresh this yep now we don't have anything so let me get back to this attachments okay so now we can see we having this alone if i click it will comes like this okay perfect so far uh, it is working what we expected over here okay so now what i need to do is let me get back to the attachments forms over here attachments forms so this is the place where we are uh, supplying the values and everything right so the attachments needs to be uh passed we have while passing the values it need to be passed properly so what you need to do is mm, wait a minute okay so here if you check out our attachments uploads what is the value that we are expecting we are expecting an object right so let's get back to the attachments over here so this form instead of supplying as a string value see what it is expecting the field is expecting as an attachment as an object and it, it should be name and uh, the url right so so we are supplying the entire object in it so that is fine that's perfectly fine and on remove what we are expecting we are expecting only the url which is that is what we are doing over here you are we are getting the url so see here this url is also getting an as an uh, object right so what i can do is i can get that item then i can simply supply the item dot url alone item dot so um okay we will do the spot on change we are getting it as an if you check it over here because on change what we got we are getting the yep we are getting the complete object yes that is what so on change we are getting the complete attachments over here so we can get that so now what i need to do is here i need to open a function open a function and here i need to say field dot on change now open it from the attachments i need to map open a bracket then i need to get that single item okay then i need to supply that as an object like how i need to supply i need to supply the name i need to supply the name which is going to be item dot name then i need to supply it as item dot url so here we are getting the error we are getting the item mm. oh come on We can simply supply the item alone. Let's try to supply the item alone then. Yeah, so now, in, so I try to break it out and then I will send the two different values as an object it, because it is already an object itself. See, you URL and the name. So that's the reason we have got an error. So we will send that to that particular field on change because that is what we are trying to do. So later, if there is any issues over here, we can change it. So don't worry about it. All right. So on remove, no issues. And so far, so good. So let's get back to the attachments upload over here. 
now if i click this here i need to have an option like what i need to do is um this division inside here this division part so over here if i do have the value if i do have the value and if the value dot length is if it is greater than zero then what i need to do is i need to render something or else i need to render something yes that is what we need to do so if it is greater than something like that what we have to do we have to display that uh, values everything over there right so if it is not what i need to do is i need to display a division where i need to upload that uh, files and everything right Mm. Mm. this is this is the place it's getting confused because see if i click edit i have this options to delete option right but we need to display that uh, add option at every single time right so uh so this instead of writing the condition something like this what we need to do is so inside this division so let's uh, create a div and let's say flex and the items everything should be center and width should be completely full and justify the content everything in the end and here i'm gonna bring a button button and this button is variant is going to be a ghost and inside this button i'm gonna bring file plus file plus icon and here for this class name width is going to be three and height is going to be three margin right it's going to be two and then here i'm just going to say add a file something like this so save this changes now i should able to see the add a file option at the top right corner right then what i need to do is um right after this particular division so here i'm going to create a div which is going to say flex column okay enter and here i'm just going to say value if we have the value and if the value length is greater than length is greater than zero then we need to display something over there or else we just need to display a paragraph we need to display a paragraph tag which is going to say no attachments something like this okay so far we don't have any attachments right so if it is greater than zero here we need to display all this is the place where we need to display the attachments right this is the place where we need to display the attachments perfect so far we have some clarity in the code right now okay then now if i click this now what i need to do i need to uh, so this button see right now it's submitting the data this form is getting submitted so i don't want to do that this type should be a button it should be a button okay now if you click that the form will not get submitted so whenever i'm clicking this now what i need to do is i need to trigger a function right so what i need to do is uh, whenever we are clicking that button right so whenever we are clicking that button we need to trigger that input field so that is what we need to do so we need to trigger that input field so um what we need to do is this is the place where it gets trickier so we just kept it as a division but this is it's supposed to be something like what image form let's open the image upload if you check it out over here see this is how we need to design that uh, input options and everything. Oh God. So what I need to do is I'm going to literally copy this part and I'm going to get back over here and I'm going to paste it over here. Now, uh, this is going to be fine. This is going to be three, three MR two instead of image plus this is going to be a uh, file plus instead of flex column remove it save the changes yep now we have this option upload an image right so 
yep so let's say instead of this let me delete it okay so here um, what we can do instead of upload an image this is should be add a file add a file something like this okay and instead of text neutral i'm going to remove this okay that is how it should looks like now if i click this it is going to trigger this input and this input field should ready to accept all these kinds of files formats so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it straight away over here okay don't worry i'll give you the complete code of this particular in the gist file you can simply copy it and paste it so now we have the complete uh, file extensions what type of format that we are looking for right so let's use that file format so save this so far we don't have any issue now if i click this it is going to trigger that input field perfect and it should ready to accept all kinds of uh, sorry multiple files so let's change this to multiple now i can able to choose multiple files see i can able to choose multiple files perfect now it is ready so now it is going to trigger this on upload event where it's going to come over here at the top so at this point now what i need to do is i need to make sure whatever which is inside over here i'm going to delete it literally completely delete it i'm going to get the files so const files is equals to uh, sorry which is going to be the type of file and it should be an array right so then we need to say array dot from open it i'm gonna get that targeted files e dot targeted files if i'm not getting it keep it an empty array so by this way we can um, fix that issue then i'm gonna say set is loading as true okay um yeah we need to bring the loading states and animation states as well as right mm. okay so what in order to do that what we can do is let's cut this label part let's cut this label cut the label and yep here what we can do is i can create a div and i can say with the full padding two and flex item center justify at the end and here we can say if it is loading we can display something or else we can display something yes at this part we need to display that label if it is loading you need to display the progress part yep so save this changes yep this now you have this thing at the end so this is the place where it's going to display the loading uh the percentage count over there so far so good now we set the state to loading perfectly and right after that here what i need to do is i need to create a new array to store new uploaded urls so this is the place where we need to create the array to store newly uploaded urls that file name and along with that uh the urls okay mm. 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 okay let's see whether we can able to do it or not then what we need to do is here so const new urls which is going to be the exact same type of this copy it and paste it over here this is what it is going to be okay so far in the initial data is going to be an empty array right then we need the counter we need the counter to keep track the uploaded files because we need to if you are selecting five files and we need to make sure all the five files are being uploaded right so so let completed files is equals to zero so far it is going to be initially it is going to be zero then here files dot each for using the files dot for each i'm gonna get 
a callback function and inside that I'm going to extract that file which is going to be the type of file itself. I'm going to get that file inside over here. Then now I need to start the uploading process. So const upload task is equals to upload bytes resumable open it and here I need to create a reference open it supply the storage reference open it then I'm going to create a uh, page so this is going to be the attachments folder name and inside this attachments folder name I'm going to create the file name which is going to be date dot now open it right along with that what I'm going to do I'm going to supply the file dot now for file dot name I'm going to supply that okay then I'm going to supply the file as the reference in it and along with that we need to supply the content type which is going to be the file dot type itself okay this is how we need to do and then after this loop this is the loop it's been getting ended uh, where it is getting ended so save this this is after this particular part we need to start that upload task upload task dot on open it so here I need to get if there is any changes on the state we're gonna get two three different functions save it so the first function this is the place where we are going to get the uh, progress part right so what we can do is we can simply copy that progress part from where from here and let copy it and let's paste it okay and we can copy the second part which is going to be the error copy it and let's paste it perfect then inside here this is the place where we are going to get that download url right so here what i'm going to do get download url open it i'm gonna supply that upload task dot ref oops snapshot dot reference get that upload task dot reference it's going to return a promise handle that promise and get that download let's get that uh, download url and i'm going to get that callback function this url get into it and here so what first what we need to do we need to store this newly uploaded url store this url right here i'm going to push this to new urls array dot push open it which is going to be an object so of course for the url i'm going to say the download url and for the name what i'm going to do is i'm going to say file dot name supply the file dot name now it will be pushed over there then what i need to do increase the count of the uploaded file increase the count of the counters right so here i'm just going to say completed files plus plus something like that then I need to make sure whether the, all the files are being uploaded or not. So check the files are uploaded or not. So we need to make sure all the files are uploaded. So if the completed, if the completed files count, which is equals to the selected files dot length, which means the files are completed up completely uploaded, right? That is what we are trying to check here. If it is say so, then set is loading as what false. Then what I need to do, I need to say on change, on change, which is going to the on change function, which is going to be the function which is coming from the attachments form. Open it. I'm going to destructure it. Okay, the value. Then I'm going to destructure this new URL. Okay, perfect. I think so it will work perfectly now so save this changes so far there is no issues at all now let's open the firebase project over here firebase let's go to the console mm, okay so where it is this is the one so let's get to the firebase storage over here okay so this okay let's check it out now over here so choose add files okay 
so i'm gonna try to upload two different files over here one and two something like this and if i try to create open it is loading now one it's uploaded and another one is also uploaded okay so if i go and check it out over here and if i check it out over here see now we have the attachments folder and inside the attachments folder we have both of the files which means which is working perfectly so now the files are uploading perfectly right so um once the files are being uploaded now what we need to do is we need to get that value and we need to display that value over here here at this part um the place where we have to display it here so what i'm going to do is inside here now i'm going to create a paragraph and for the time being i'm just going to display the values dot length so let's check it out see it's showing two because we recently uploaded the file let me refresh it and if i click it over here and if i click attachments and if i click the same two different files now and if i click ok now you should see both of the files will be uploaded and we are getting the count as two right look at that and if you check your firebase storage and split the attachments you should get those two different files now okay and you get the count so instead of displaying the count what i'm going to do is um, I'm going to display <clears throat> okay so here I'm going to create a div div class name okay so space y which is going to be 2 and inside here I'm going to say uh, if the values dot map open it i'm gonna get that item render it enter and here we're gonna create a div and here we need to supply the key so key which is going to be the url so item dot url itself because that is going to be unique no changes in that and here i'm gonna say class name which is going to be flex item center and padding will be three and width of course it should be full and bg of course it's going to be bg purple 100 and border it's going to be purple 200 we need the border and text which is going to be text purple 700 something like that okay that is how it should look and of course it should have the rounded edges right then enter okay so here now i need to display the icon as the file so from the lucid react i'm going to bring the file icon itself which is going to be width as four height as four margin right which is going to be two okay perfect and then see now we have that icon over there then right after here i need to display a paragraph tag which is going to display that text which is going to be xs xs and width of course it should be full and it should truncate if it is a very big name over there and here now um, I'm gonna say open it attachment sorry open item dot name itself save it now we should be able to see the item dot name whatever the name it name of that file it is okay then now what I need to do is um, <clears throat> we need to change this to what flex item center yep now it is fine oh i given a name as okay so class name was previously wrong that's why it's not working okay and right after here i need to bring a button which is going to be a type of button and okay so here we don't need to keep the delete options let's keep it as it is whenever the user so now what we need to do is when you click the save option when you click save it's need to be saved in our mongodb that is the thing now um 
let's check it out so here um, this is the form right this is the place attachments on change and all these things on submitting this is the place where we are getting it over here right so let's check it out instead of this i'm just going to say console.log values let's check it out what do we got if i click save what is happening we need to make sure close it and if i click save now we are getting an array with an array of objects with the url and the name look at that we are getting what we are expecting over here perfect 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 perfectly fine okay so now we undo the changes over here perfect we know that we are getting the values so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring one button over here to delete that particular thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say um mm, 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 mm. Mm. okay let's do it so here i'm going to bring a button uh, which is going to have a variant which is going to be ghost and here i'm going to say size which is going to be the icon size and inside here i'm going to bring an x icon which is coming from where from the lucid react which is going to have the class name as width as for height as for save the changes now you should be able to see that okay perfect mm, or if you remove this icon okay so what is the problem is because let's say class name so i'm gonna keep the padding as one not much more bigger than that let's keep it in that way okay so that looks perfectly fine now okay so that is fine so now what we need to do is uh whenever we are clicking this now we need to delete this particular attachment right we need to delete this attachment and that is what we need to do so when you are clicking this on click on click i'm gonna call this on delete which is the function right so this function needs to take uh this should be a callback and this function is going to take an object which is the item itself okay so basically this is the argument okay so i'm going to copy this and here on delete is the function this is what it's need to oops this is going to take an object which is going to be the url and the name which is going to be the type of this okay so now you should not get that specific error now inside here now i do have that url right so what i need to do is i need to delete that url from where from the i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it so i'm going to delete this particular url from the storage okay so now instead of image remote this is going to be attachment remote okay so say this changes now if i don't need this if i click this it's saying something went wrong and it's saying attachment is successfully removed and as the same way we need to um up we need to update our values we need to update the value itself because since the value is the array right so value over here is an array so we need to update that array also so we have to figure it out a way to update that also now now if you check over here we will not have that second image because that image has been successfully deleted okay so now what we need to do is we need to figure it out a way to change this value we need to figure out a way to change this value so what we can do that is what we need to do 
Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so what we can do is come on, man. Think, 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 think. Okay, so here instead of directly deleting it, what we can do is let's get that value. So const new value is equals to we're going to say value dot filter. Oops, filter. I'm gonna filter it by I'm gonna get that specific. Uh, data the single data from that so the data dot name should not be equals to the exact name what we are getting inside okay which means except that it will be removed okay the value will be removed now I need to call this on change I'm gonna supply this new value whatever I do have in it the array so that will be replaced and then I'm gonna delete it I hope this will fix the issue now. Now, if I click this, see that attachment is being removed now. Let me refresh it. Now the image will be removed over here. See, we don't have the image. You look at that, it's working. So this button, for this button, what we need to do, we need to change the type of this button into button because every time it has been submitting that particular form also. That's an issue. So I'll click over here, add the file, and let me choose multiple files right now and choose three different files. Click open. One, two, three. All the three files are being successfully uploaded. See one and so now I see if you check over here. Now we will have the multiple files. See, and I don't need this file. Let me delete it. Now you can see that file has been deleted and the array is also updated and the data is also being updated. And now all I have to do is to click the save option. And here we are getting the issue, something wrong. So we need to figure out what is the exact issue is. Okay. So what might be the issue, right? Let's check it out over here. So what we can do is we can say console dot dot log. Let's get that error error as let's get that whatever the error it is. And let's get that error dot message over here. Save it. Now if you save, try to save this. See, we are getting an error as a patch error um we are trying to, that is the error we are getting because let's check it out what we can do so we are getting an error so basically what we are getting over here is so let me show you what error it is see here mm, if i save this see we are getting some unwanted issue because what exact error we are getting is see argument attachment is invalid value provider expected attachment update without job nested input or attachment unchecked update with see which means we are we, we are supposed to send um where is the schema so here we are supposed to send the json json data format but instead of that it is getting the plain instead of json in, in, instead of this it is getting the plain array so that's the issue right now over here mm. we need to figure out a way to fix this so that is only one solution to fix this issue is we need to update the schema so that's the only one issue so instead of keeping it as a json what we need to do is we need to create it as a model attachment itself i thought we can keep it as an embedded json data itself so i tried to figure out a way but i couldn't like it, it is it is not accepting the changes whatever i tried it is not accepting it so what we can do is we can create this copy this model attachment create it over here paste it and we can simply change that attachments into um where it is like this something like this so what i did is over here 
we try to create it as a separate model called attachments in order to store all the attachments with this url and name and what particular job it is okay so save these changes and let's get back over here and i'm gonna stop this server and i'm gonna say npx prisma generate generate then npx prisma db push okay so now it is being pushed and still we are getting an error where we are getting an issue over here <sighs> now we are getting an issue in the attachments see it's showing that it does not exist so what we can do is um let's get back to the page.tsx because that is the place where we are getting that uh, complete details right so what we can do is let's get back to the page.tsx over here and here i need to include the attachments with i'm gonna say order by open it create i'm gonna okay so we don't have the order by over here right I think I didn't, yep, we have this, no, we failed to have that, add that, okay, so I need to add that one also, so here, add it, enter, so do the same thing, Prisma generate, and Prisma DB push, fine, and now, over here, I need to get that created at, in descending order, okay so now this will be included and that will be passed up over here so in the job we don't have that okay because we need to get the attachment along with this so what i need to do is um in here i need to get the attachment also so i'm just going to say and let's get this attachments attachments colon uh from the schema i'm gonna get this attachment so this need to be from where from the prisma client come on it is not giving From the Prisma client, I need to get the attachment. Yes, it is. Attachment. Attachment. Oops. It is should be single one. That's the reason we are getting that error. Okay. So now we instructed that it should join the attachment along with this. Now the issue will be resolved over here. Okay. So now next what I need to do is in this... Um, image uploads form attachments uploads fine so here instead of sending this to uh, this specific api what we need to do is we need to reroute this api inside this job let's get over here job and inside the job id here what i need to do is i need to create one more route called uh, attachments because that is the thing okay so here what i need to do i need to create one more route all attachments enter and inside that i'm going to create a new file called route.ts enter okay so that is going to be here then now what i need to do is um mm, 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 mm. then 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 uh, inside here now we need to write the code so what i can do is uh, let me get all these things copy it and let me get into the attachment route over here and paste it this is not going to be patchwork this is going to be the post work let's change the patch into post instead of job 
it is going to be job underscore attachment attachment job attachment perfect in the request you are going to get the job id and everything okay perfectly fine all right so now here uh what i need to do is let me close this i'm just going to say const i'm gonna get the url and the name from where from await request dot json from here i'm gonna get that url and the name so fine and now what i need to do i need to create this so instead of this i'm gonna create const attachment is equals to await db dot attachment dot create we're gonna create that attachment open it where Mm, mm, mm. nope 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 we need to create that attachment um open it then i need to supply the data colon open it here i need to say i need to supply the url then i need to supply the name then i need to supply the job id for job id which is going to be from your params dot job id or you can simply leave it as job id itself because that is what we got over here job id okay that is going to create that then you need to send the attachment attachment save it all right so what we need to do is now let's get back to the um the place of this attachment form okay so here instead of this jobs job id after here i need to send this to where to attachments I need to send this to the attachments and um, yep so here job attachment updated something like this okay so save it now what we can do is uh, let's comment this and here Let's get the attachments, const attachments, attachment is equals to await request dot JSON. Let's see what value that we are getting and let's do the console log over here because we need to figure it out console dot log attachment, save it. And now let me refresh it. Let me run the server. I hope this will work. If it is not working, then again, we need to do something else. Oops. Come on. NPM run dev. So refresh it now. Let me clean this now because I know that I don't have this. Okay, let me delete it and now let me get back over here, click it, click the attachments and select these two files and click open. Now it is being uploaded, we can make sure that it is being uploaded. Yep, it is being uploaded. If you check it out over here, it is being uploaded. And now if I save this, you can see we are getting an object. Okay so attachment form it is being passed up over here and so for not five method not allowed we are getting the oh okay this is supposed to be post method that's what okay post method let's save it we are getting internal server error in the route over here. We are getting internal server error status as 500. Mm. Body is unusable. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's do, okay, instead of this, let's try to print the URL and name. Let's check it out. Because here we are getting the array of data. We see we are getting the undefined and undefined. Mm. 
So here we are getting the array. Mm, so we know that we are getting an array. So what we can do is delete this and let's make sure whether we are whether it is printing an array or not. So let's check it out over here. Yeah, look at here. We are getting the array now. So now what we need to do is we just need to typically loop through it and we need to confirm it whether it is an array. If it is an array, we need to loop through it and we need to insert it. That is what we need to do. Okay, so let me uncomment all these things. Okay, so we don't need this anymore now for the time being. Let me remove it and let me keep it as attachments itself. Don't worry about this issue. We can fix this uh, later in a quite in a short period of time. So, okay, so now what I need to do is uh, I'm just going to say if I don't have the attachments, if I don't have the attachments or wait a minute, I'm getting a call. Mm, okay. And if it is not an array, not array, I need to make sure whether it is an array or not. If it is not an array that attachments, then I just need to say return this next x response as invalid attachment format. Let's say invalid attachment format or something. Then if it is say so, next what I need to do is uh, we need to create a separate array to match. We need to, because we need to destructure that uh, URL and name from that. And because we need to extract the every single object and we need to push it into the attached new array. OK, so because we need to figure it out whether that it is valid or not. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const created attachment as a new empty array then for const attachment of attachments from that i'm going to get that and here i'm going to destructure that url and the name from where from the attachment which we got okay okay semicolon enter we need to validate whether the url name uh, because we need to have both URL and name. So we need to validate the URL and name because that attachment should have the URL and the name. If not URL, if not URL or if not name, we need to say, um, like what we can either we can skip that invalid attachments. Let's say skip the invalid because we don't need to save that invalid attachments. Okay. Then you can simply say over here, continue. Or if you don't wish to do any of this, you can simply ignore it. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, do it anyway. So here, because we need to skip that if, if that is no URL because this is just like what to say uh, a validation, quick validation. Anyways, we know that we will have the URL and name, but at some point you might miss it. So on that situation, so here const created attachment is equals to await db dot attachment dot create open it supply the data into it open it supply the URL supply the name and supply the job ID. Okay, so now all those things are being supplied. So once it has been successfully created, now we need to push this into that attachment array. So where it is created, this should be created attachments. Let's say created attachments dot push this created newly created attachment. Okay. So basically what we are doing here is because from the front end, we are getting the array of attachments. So I'm going to make sure whether the we have the attachment, whether the attachment is an array or not. Once it is an array, I'm going to destructure that and I'm going to get the URL and name and I'm going to verify whether it is URL and name or valid or not. If it is not valid, I'm going to skip it. And then if uh, if it says so, then it is going to come over here and it's going to create that uh, attachment 
over here you can ignore this part if you don't want that okay so i'm gonna create that attachment then i'm gonna re-push that created attachment in where into the created attachment because once it's been created it is going to have the created field updated field and it's going to have the data id object we need all those things because from from the front end you are getting the url and name alone once it's been created you will get the id and all those details so we need to get that and store it in the id and we are pushing it over here and once everything is properly done we will push the attachments outside okay so save this changes now if everything it is perfectly fine this should work now if i click save um we are getting internal server error why we are getting the internal server error let's check it out over here mm. it is not even showing anything if i click job attachment post we are not getting any error mm, that's quite confusing save it mm. uh, why we are getting this error uh so let's do it one more time wait a minute let me delete all these things let's let's delete it for the time being let's say const created attachments as an empty array perfect okay so this is going to be an empty array so this should be as the type of what as a type of attachment mm. this should be the type of oh my bad this is not how you need to initialize it this is, should be a type of attachment right yep now we will not get that error okay so here now for um, each or let's say open the for let's get the attachment attachment of attachments open it and this attachment It's going to be the type of what the attachment. Okay, so we are getting some issues. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, this is supposed to be const. Okay, const attachment of that attachments. So here, let's do the console.log attachment. Let's check it out. Let's try to do, let's check it out over here. If you click save, you click the attachments what is we are getting check the console we are getting 400 error Okay, so what exact error we are getting over here on the console if you check it out over here you can see the type error attachment is not iterable so that is what we are getting over here okay so i'm not uh sure what exact mistake we made over there let's figure it out anyway hmm. okay so what i'm going to do is let me delete all these things the lid okay so we'll make let's make sure we have the request and we have the params and user id user id job id okay everything is perfect now what we need to do is so the problem is the way we are fetching the data from the 
attachments if you look at it over here previously we are fetching the data like what directly because we are getting as an object so i forgot to destructure it that's the only issue over here right so i forgot to destructure it so then uh what we need to do we need to make sure the whether it is all the attachments is an array or not just exactly the same way what we used to previously check attachments is an array or not and all those things then and inside here what we need to do instead of console logging it what we are going to do is i'm just going to say const open it and i'm going to destructure the url and the name from there and is equals to attachment okay and here next what we need to do is we need to create the attachment so just like exactly previously what we did so we created it and we pushed it into that attachment and finally we are pushing it back so save this if everything is working fine now if you click this it should say job attachments updated if you check it out over here and if you get to the attachments over here see we we should get the data because the previous one which is what which i already tried to save it right that's the reason we are getting over the data it's been repeated multiple times so here let me delete all these things delete it okay and let me get back to the mongodb and let me delete this one let me delete this one So now in the attachments, we don't have anything, literally nothing. So it's completely now, even if I refresh it, see, I don't have anything over here. Now, if I click it and if I choose these two one more time, and if I choose upload, that is going to upload it. It's uploaded. And if I click save, and that is be saved automatically. Now, even if I refresh it, and if I click edit, I can able to see that initial data because that is being inserted in your MongoDB. If I get back to the attachment, and if I refresh the changes over here, and I can able to see that changes, see, both of them, both of them are pushed into our MongoDB. So previously, the only one mistake, what is that is because we have to destructure it. I forgot to destructure it. That's the only issue. So that cost us a very long time. Okay. So now we have, we have that it is working perfectly fine. Now, all, <coughs> all I have to do is to bring and display the data over here. So let's get back to the attachments forms. So what I'm going to do is. So when you are clicking inside here, it, if you click this, it is going to delete the data from where? From the, um, the file storage, right? From the file storage, it is going to delete the file. Then at the same point, um, like when you delete this, when you delete that file, you need to delete that attachment as well as. So what I'm going to do is, so here, instead of bring, keeping that delete option over there, instead of uh, deleting that um, what i can do is i can simply because uh, we can delete that uh, story that url directly when through the api uh, but the problem is since we change the schema now we need to have one more option to delete that schema right so in the image or where it is in the attachment uploads this button this is not necessary to be displayed or we, we can display it or what we can do is we don't need to delete it from here this object reference this is not necessary to be over here we can simply um, mm, mm, mm. yep we can simply
okay so we will definitely face one more issue let me show you what exact issue that we will face over here so what i need to what we need to do is so let's go ahead let's fix the designs first then we can see so here i'm just going to copy this copy and i'm going to get to the attachment form attachment form okay this is the place where we are not editing over here right so here now what i need to do is paste it and okay so here if the initial data consists of this attachments then get the map of it then we will get the item from it then let's just render this one okay so let's import this file from lucid react and for the time being let's keep it as an empty callback function don't worry about this delete let's keep it as an empty callback let's import this save it and now if you cancel it you should be able to see this attachments and everything right so now see here if i click and if i click save one more time see what is happening we are getting two times the same data look at here if i refresh it see we are getting that the same data it is being inserted again and again so this is not support this is not supposed to be happen we need to figure out a way to fix this All right, so let me figure out a way to fix this issue and then I will come up with the clean code. So this is totally messed up, I know that. Anyways, we will fix the issue and we will get through it. So I will see you on the, with the solution on the next video.